Hi guys, Weintuber here and today I'm going to talk about one of the most underrated regions of Australia, which is Tasmania. So, let's get started! Before we start, many thanks to Garrett from Casty Wine and Ben from Liberty Wines for helping me with this video. Tasmania is an island state of Australia and it's located 240 km to the south of Australian mainland with the population of 570,000 people. Did you know that Tasmania produces less than 1% of Australian wines? And there are seven wine regions that you should know about it. Northwest, Tamar Valley, which is the biggest in terms of production, Northeast, East Coast, then Coal River Valley, Derwent Valley, and Hoon Valley, which is the smallest in terms of production. The last region is located near the capital of Tasmania, which is Hobart. Tasmania is the coldest wine region of Australia and the most planted grape varieties are Pinot Noir 48%, Chardonnay 25%, followed by Sauvignon Blanc, Riesling, Pinot Gris and many others. Here are a couple of great Tasmanian producers that are available in Ireland, US and UK. So if you're looking for some great sparkling wines that is also a fantastic alternative to champagne, House of Arras and Jans are incredible producers. Tolpodel and Darimple Estate producing some excellent Pinot Noirs and Chardonnay. Finally, Yarra Valley producer called Giant Step is also making one of the most incredible Pinot Noir called Fatal Shore. This wine will be soon available in Ireland and also in our website, which is thecorkscrew.ie. How important is the sparkling wine production in Tasmania, showing also Champagne House Je Ashmam, as they are about to launch their non vintage sparkling wine this autumn. However, today I would like to show you one of the best value for money wine produced in Tasmania, which is Jans Rosé Non Vintage, which is a sparkling wine. This wine was aged on the lease for 18 months and is a blend of Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. So grape also associates with, you know, Champagne or Burgundy. Wine on the nose is pronounced, showing some aromas of strawberries, cranberry cream, raspberry brioche on the palate, super refreshing with lovely creamy mousse, showing loads of red fruits, especially strawberries. My score is 91 points of 100 and the retail price is 36.95, which is incredible value for money. Absolutely delish. The second wine I would like to show you today is Dalrymple Pinot Noir 2020. Wine on the nose, again, it's super pronounced. Lots of cherries, raspberries, you have some savory tones and also a touch of violets. On the palate, it's super refreshing. Amazing, actually really well balanced acidity. You can really tell that this wine comes from the warmer vintage as acidity is on the medium side. It's absolutely amazing. There's loads of cherry notes and kind of savory finish. This wine, it's 92 points of 100 and the retail price is only 52.95. This is another amazing value for money wine from Tasmania. Wow. Thank you for watching. I hope from now on you're gonna drink a lot of Tasmanian wines because they're absolutely incredible. By the way, don't miss out my next video about what Reserva or Reserva mean on a bottle of wine. So stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.